Hi guys, it's Saf and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, what we're gonna be doing is answering questions guys are too scared to ask girls. Jesus, that's a fucking mouthful. Yeah, I think I said that right. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing today. And I actually got these questions off of Reddit because some of the questions are pretty funny. So number one is, what are the obvious hints you drop on people you like? Okay, well, I'm in a relationship right now, so I feel like I haven't done this in a minute, but um, I think what I would do usually if I like a guy is talking to them a lot. So when I like a guy, obviously, I think that's kind of like a basic one, but you just talk to them a lot. And you, I mean, you don't like reply within seconds, but you reply like relatively quickly for long periods of time. Um, what else do they do? Well, like when you see them in person, you're like flirt, like that's what, the thing is I can't speak on behalf of all girls. I can only speak on behalf of myself. I am very touchy-feely when I like someone, um, which is weird because normally I'm not like with everyone else. I'm like, ugh, just don't touch me. Like I just want my space, me and my space. So that's a couple of signs, like definitely flirty, more touchy-feely. I'm gonna be talking to you a lot more and making like a lot of more effort to talk to you as well. I kind of do all of that for like the beginning stuff. And then when it's like, oh no, I really like you, like, get the hint, then I, what do I do actually? I mean, I, I, I actually can't really think because I don't really fancy people that much. Like, I never have like serious crushes on people that much. Like, I'll like fancy people for a day and stuff, but like, I've never, I don't really, yeah, I don't really fancy people that hardcore. It's only really in like high school that I like fancy people. I think those are just the signs really, but then you have to see, cause I mean, some girls are maybe just more touchy feely and stuff and they could just be doing it as like, oh no friends. So yeah, but I think you, you kind of have to feel the vibe. And like, if you don't know how to feel the vibe, it's just something that you learn, I guess, when you're around more like females and stuff, just shoot your shot though. If you are fancying a girl and it seems that she fancies you back, just shoot your shot. I feel like with things like that, sometimes you just have to be like, fuck it and just say how you feel because people that don't say how they feel, it's actually so sad because then they'll move on and they might have partners and whatever and you could have had something but then you were too scared to just like say how you feel you know if you could press a button that would change your gender would you do it hmm that is interesting no no i wouldn't but if it was for a day a hundred percent yes i'd do that or even a week i would do that that would be sick if it was like years i wouldn't and I, I wouldn't would you for a year Actually, maybe I would for a year, you know? I think that would be so cool to be able to do both. Do you know what I mean? Like, live life as a girl and then live life as a boy. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool to do that if you could, like, change just with a press of a button. So, yeah, I wouldn't do it if it's, like, forever changing me because I love being a girl. So, yeah, no, my answer's no, um, if it's forever. But if it's for a day or a week, then for sure. That would be really fun to try being a guy for a, a week or a day or something like that. So, yeah. Oh, my God, YouTube challenge. <laughs> How do you feel about quiet, anxious, like introverted boys? Um, I've seen the question of that a lot, which I found quite interesting. I say I'm an ambivert, like I like hanging out with people and I like the energies of like seeing other people and stuff, but I definitely can just be alone in my room and feel great with that too. So I, I like a bit of both. Um, I do have social anxiety though, so that kind of adds it into the mix as well, but that's a whole other thing. Because I'm way more shy and reserved and stuff when I'm meeting strangers, um, obviously depending on energies and stuff. If there was a guy that was shy, I feel like I didn't explain this properly but basically because I'm like that I'd understand if a guy was like that and kind of shy I would just find it kind of cute and as long as you can hold somewhat of a conversation it's fine like I don't mind if people like stutter or do like you know cute little things like that because they're shy if that makes sense Okay, carry on with the video. I know, you kind of find it a bit endearing, like it's quite cute. As long as like once they warm up to you, they like will speak and stuff like that, like it's fine. Okay, next question. Do you girls value a smart guy or a strong guy? Um, a smart guy or a strong guy? Is this bad that it's actually like hard for you to think? I'm so bad at answering questions like this because I need more detail because I would rather choose a smart guy but he thinks he's strong and he will fight like he's strong. Um, I'd rather that than a strong, an actual strong guy, but then like is a bit of a pussy and like wouldn't fight and stuff. Do you know what I mean? Then I'd rather the smart guy, but if it's like a smart guy that's like a bit of a pussy and like if there's danger he'd run away, I couldn't hack that. Like that would really turn me off. And then if you're in a relationship with them, you can't be with someone that just turns you off. You know what I mean? So I need a fighter. So it doesn't matter if you're like super skinny, super fat, super buff or whatever. You have to, it's more mental. You'd mentally and physically do your best even if you weren't as strong. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know if 
if that made sense but yeah that's what i'd rather so it's more the mental because if he's strong but not smart how do you measure intelligence i am so annoying when it comes to this but yeah because are we talking about intelligence of like just book smart because i don't really care about that as much as if he's like oh yeah i got an a for a level i'm like if you're mentally strong and that can be anyone so even if you are like physically weak but you will fight to the death i mean i know it's like quite dramatic but if you all stick up and like fight for yourself and like fight for me then then like that is amazing but if you're strong and you're like oh no i'm scared i'm gonna run away then like no so um yeah that's my answer i don't even know if i answered it properly but i definitely didn't answer it properly do you okay do you girls care about mm, sirs? um i can only talk about myself but I'm gonna say it depends because you can have it like way too big where it just hurts and it's just not nice and it doesn't feel comfortable or you can have it maybe too small and you can't really feel much and it's like not great but then I've heard a lot of people be like it's not about the size it's about what they do with it and that's like probably true as well so um i think to be honest it's just more about confidence like if you do have like a smaller thing just be confident about it i think it's better when you have a partner though because then you can proper learn what they like and then you can get better at it and then it doesn't matter because you're good at it like and every like girl is different of what like, they can take and stuff i feel like this is so explicit i don't know if i want to film this anymore why did i think this was a good idea getting a bit awkward now so yeah size does matter but just be confident in whatever size you are and like hopefully you'll find like a partner that is good for you and that you can like learn you know as long as you're pleasuring the girl then it's fine then size doesn't matter you know what i mean and that could be like super super big to like super super small thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did then please give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me i'll see you guys next time bye